Take the sling, unfold it and look for the middle. While holding the upper edges with both hands, place it around your stomach from front to back like an apron. Please make sure only to work with the upper edges. Now grab the sling behind your back with the left hand, hold the right hand from below in the emerging skirt and hold the upper edge of the sling coming from your left hip in order to cross the two sling ends and to pull them widely apart. While still holding the upper edges, grasp with the hands in order to place the cloth from back to front over the shoulder. Gather the entire length of material on both sides towards the neck. Do not twist the sling while doing so. Pull the sash created on the stomach upward so that the sling runs near the body in the area of the belly button. Check whether both ends are the same length. If not, you can still easily correct that in the current position. As soon as these steps are completed, slightly loosen the gathered fabric around your stomach, take your baby and place it on a shoulder. Put the sling ends that are laying on your shoulders outwardly to the left and right so that these will not get jammed under the baby. Now let your baby slip into the sling running around your stomach up to the so-called head kiss height. Pull the over length of material starting at the lower edge of the sling with the right hand into the hollows of your baby's knees so that its feet lie exposed. Then tuck this edge of cloth upward in the direction of the baby's belly button. With your left hand, pull the upper edge of the sling over your baby's arms and head upward so that a cap forms. It is enough to pull the sling up under the child's arms with babies who can already hold up their head on their own. Afterwards, tuck the material back into the neck area. Take the sling over your left shoulder with the left hand on the inner edge of the neck and tighten the entire cloth. This should take place gradually in at least three to five phases so that the cloth fits individually to your baby's back. Hold the sling tightly and also tighten the other side of the cloth. For this purpose, take the sling over your right shoulder with the right hand on the inner edge of the neck and likewise tighten in three to five phases. These steps have been taken in order to bind your baby in front of your stomach with a round back in the recommended straddle tuck position. Now pull both sling ends upward while moving your hips and place these forward over the shoulders as much as it feels comfortable for you. Cross both ends of material beneath the baby's bottom and guide them between the baby's legs and your body to the rear on your back. Fasten the two sling ends with a double knot. Now once again, check whether everything is pleasantly fastened for both of you and push your baby's knees upward so that they are situated at the heights of your baby's belly button. In order to take the sling off, tuck the flat hand from behind through the end of material running over the shoulder and allow the material to slide downward. After that, pull the sling downward until your baby's feet are exposed. If your baby has fallen asleep, bend your upper body forward, lay your baby down and cover it if necessary. Your baby will normally continue to sleep. Only now, turn the entire sling forward in order to open the knots and to take the sling off completely.